Man, let me tell y'all something. The motherfucking Heat is not better than the Pistons, man. They record better than the Pistons, but they not better than us for real, man. I'm not blaming this game on Reggie. I'm blaming this game on Marcus Morris, Stanley Johnson, um, and um, KCP. These motherfuckers shot like two for motherfucking 30 tonight. You ain't gonna win if you uh, do shit like that. Thank God the Bulls lost tonight. Um, we play tomorrow. If we can get that L, it's gonna be hard because they playing really good. We can get that uh, that W, I mean, tomorrow against the Magic, then that'll be, that'll be good because if the Bulls lose one or two more, they're pretty much out. We just gotta win one or two more games. We really gotta win two more games as of right now, but if we can win one and the Bulls lose their next two to Miami and the Cavs, then we're definitely in. But every time we come off of these fucking three-day breaks, I don't know what the fuck these niggas be doing. What the fuck y'all be doing? Hey, y'all, it's like y'all be sitting at home eating cupcakes or something. Cause y'all, y'all don't come to play. Everything the Miami Heat did tonight wasn't because of them being better than us. It was them being more energized, us not being energized, us not playing in three days, uh, us not making shots. That's it. If we would have been making shots, then we would have won. Stanley, Stanley Johnson missing everything at the rim. Only because he's too fucking muscular. If he's leaner up, he will be more fluid. Uh, Justice Winslow getting his shine, but out of the three games we've played so far, Stanley Johnson got the best of him. Like, last time we played against Miami at Miami, Stanley Johnson had like five threes in that game. So I'm not trying to hear the Winslow better than Stanley Johnson or we should have took. Stanley Johnson is finally hitting the rookie wall. That's what's happening. He finally hitting that rookie wall. But after he, after this rookie wall over with and next season come, he's going to be better. We're not going to beat Toronto or the Cavs playing like this, man. If our bench do not pick up some type of play coming down this stretch, man, we're not going to win a game in the playoffs, man. We're going to get fucking swept. Our bench is not doing nothing at all. And Stan Van Gunny keep riding the starters too long. Tobias Harris, I'm giving you some shout-out. And Andre, to a certain extent, I'm giving you a shout-out. In this game. Reggie Jackson still is not being a floor general. He's still jacking up a lot of shots, man. Still. Still. And that's the reason we lost this game. Not because Miami better than us. They play eight guys tonight. And them eight guys outplayed our fucking nine or ten we played. You know what I'm saying? And until our bench come and play, we're not going to be winning the, the rest of these games, man. We got to at least win one or two more games. And by us having a three-day break and the starters really not doing shit in this one, they should be ready to come and play tomorrow. Um, but like I say, Tobias Harris did his thing. He was the only one that did something in this game. I got to salute the brother. Uh, he been playing pretty good. Uh, what a time for Marcus Morris to go cold. I knew eventually it was going to happen. I ain't, I ain't think it was going to be tonight because we was on a three-day break, even though I said in my video that we was going to come out and play like trash. But like I say, man, if the Bulls lose one or two more games, man, it's a wrap, man. I'm just going to say it like that. If they lose one or two more games, it's a wrap, period. Um... But uh, it's your boy LB, man. Subscribe to me. This game right here is unacceptable, but I can live because the Bulls lost. Uh, see y'all later, man. I'm gone.